a small video, a small insight um, on emissions. Right here we have this standard model of an atom having the core and the electrons circling it in various orbits or orbitals. Whenever an electron moves from one to another orbit, there's an emission. It doesn't matter whether it's from the inside out or from the outside in, there's always an emission of energy. And this energy can be uh, emitted as an electron or as a photon. So what goes on? Well, as I told, this is an old model. And this is so here you got the old model and this is the new model. And this is real. This is not only star drive, but uh, every known scientist knows that the orbits aren't circling. They are very small, tiny, circular or oval shaped orbitals, which you can recognize looking at this star drive model of the second shield. You can see those pyramids, those legs of it, and imagine these are only the, this is the stripped atom, imagine quarks circling it. I'm going to take a bigger picture again. My infamous lithium. Um, the axles make up for the crystal structure and the others are circling it. This one is a proton because one sticks out, so we recognize it as an electron. And if it is in, it is a neutron. So that's how an atom works in detail. Well, so this is the real orbitals. This is the old model. But since we have this model instead of that, this isn't really the reality of it all. The reality is having a core with all those Q-tips representing the individual uh, neutrons and protons. One is circling and that electron can jump from here to there or to there or to there or to there. Not only inside and outside, but also sideways. So this is an old model. This is the, a real new model and electrons can move sideways. Of course, keep in mind, not the electron moves, only the impulse moves sideways or inside or outside. And that explains why there's an emission. Because suppose here we have the blue ones. This is uh, every blue one is a, a Q-tip of these. So the structure is made up by the blue ones. And then you have two other quarks circling those axles. Now suppose this is one orbit and this is another orbit. To jump, to, to make an electron jump from one to another, at first it has to create space. It cannot jump from one to another, it has to um, become a neutron first. And only when it becomes a neutron, then on, in the outer orbit, an electron can pop up. They are uh, spinning in the same direction. So uh, normally they, they, they interlink like cocks, but when they spin in the same direction, they will. Um, there's going to be a, a problem here. There are going to be collisions, colliding it. Both spinning wheels will collide. So there's not enough room for both to become um, a proton. And nature wants them to become protons. That's uh, ether, the ether uh, powering it. So they want to pop out. They want to decay into protons. Uh, neutron decay, we know that. They want to do that. So first you have to do is uh, make this one turn back into a neutron. This proton becomes a neutron. And only then... There's a second. There's enough space for the second step. Only then, this neutron can turn into a proton, which of course creates an emission. Now you might wonder, why is it that 
uh, this goes pretty much instantly and in a uh, free space um, a neutron uh, a free floating neutron takes about 15 minutes to turn into a proton and here it goes instantly pretty much why is that well let me show you how that works and if you have a free floating piece of wood hammer and a tiny little nail and I want to hammer that nail in and that's going to take about 15 minutes because this one isn't free floating this is free floating um, hydrogen core I want to nail that thing in it takes about 15 minutes unless this nucleon is part of a bigger structure a bit bigger structure in that case, it takes only a split second to hammer it in. So, that's the reason why decay goes pretty pretty slow uh, when we're talking about hydrogen in uh, space. But when a nucleon is part of a bigger structure like one of those atom cores, all those things go pretty much, they go faster. Decay goes faster. So, again, it makes sense. Thank you for watching. Bye now.